So I'm not going to really get into spoilers for the last two episodes of Power, which I already saw and they were trash, but that's a story for another day. That show, that show uh, during the last season, the writing got really, really bad. But anyway, I'm going to talk about Power Book 2, the spinoff that's going to star Mary J. Blige. So Courtney Kemp told Entertainment Weekly that Mary's character will use all the power and presence of the actress to communicate how powerful this woman is and how remarkable she is and all her abilities. She's as smart, savvy, and strategic as Ghost ever was. But her learning doesn't come from books. We always said Ghost was a bookish kid who read all the time. This woman's acumen comes from the streets. Now, I don't know what the hell she's talking about that Ghost was book smart. Listen, I always took the character of Ghost to be very, very street smart but very intelligent at the same time. I always got the impression that it's just the fact that he didn't go to college, but that he was really, really smart uh, and very street smart. So I don't understand, but that's just them trying to, you know, down downplay Ghost character. You know, it, it's it's typical of, of what people do to drag somebody down to bring somebody else up, especially in the, the this feminist uh, stuff that's going on. Apparently, Courtney Kemp has wanted to do this show for a while. So I think I know what happened. I think that she knew that Power couldn't get off the ground if they would have had a female lead in that role of Ghost. So she made it a male character. And then after X amount of years, the show went on. They ran out of ideas. It was successful. So now she has the clout to actually get this done. So I, that's the direction they seem to be going in. And if you watch the last season of Ghost, or the last season of, of Power, I should say, they really, really tried to get you to kind of hate Ghost, and they really made him look like he was a jerk. And even if you watch some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, the um, the power after shows, she would talk about how you know Ghost was wrong and how you know Tasha was within her rights or whatever. And she also said that it comes off of some of her life experiences with men and with her father. So I'm not surprised that you know they're going this direction with the the feminist uh, the feminist angle, but I don't think it's gonna work at all. I mean, the way that she's acting, she's starting to sound like Ghost didn't do anything. Like, he didn't put in any type of work in the streets. That he was just, you know, in an office just counting books, you know. That he wasn't really that guy. So, it doesn't really make much sense to me, you know. We know that Ghost killed multiple people. Didn't have a problem, you know, getting his hands dirty himself. And then she says that, oh, he was smart by reading books. Completely, completely ridiculous. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with this show. I, I don't I don't expect it to be great. Um, I think it'll probably do bad, and then they'll move on to one of the other prequel series. But those are just my thoughts. You guys let me know what you know, what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's Mike from Bensonhurst. Keep banging.